The next somewhat advanced and somewhat esoteric subject we're going to look at in advanced C Sharp is sealed classes and methods. Now, sealed classes and methods are essentially the opposite of abstract classes, whereas abstract classes force you to derive a subclass in order to use them, sealed classes actually prevent you from deriving from them. So there is no way to make a subclass from a class that has been sealed. It's also possible to mark individual methods in classes as being sealed, which prevents them from being overridden in some classes. But it is far more common to seal entire classes than methods. And the way that you create a sealed class is by using the sealed keyword. So if I define a class like this, I have public class, my class. If I wanted to seal this class, I would just simply put the word sealed inside my class. And then at this point, I can no longer create a subclass. So before the sealed keyword was in there, I can make my subclass off of my class. But now that the sealed keyword is in there, this is an error. I can't derive from my class anymore. So let's actually see this in action. I'm actually going to go over to my snippets here in my sealed classes example. And I'm going to copy these lines of code right here. And I'll paste them in. So here I have my class. And let me just take this guy out for a moment. Okay, so I have a class called my example class, and then I have my subclass, which derives from my example class. And if I hit F6, you can see that everything works fine. The build succeeds. Let's put the sealed keyword back in there. Save. Now let's try to build. Oh, we get an error. And it says that the subclass right here cannot derive from sealed type my example class. So by sealing this class, I prevent any further subclasses from being created. You'll do this when you create classes that you don't want people messing with. It's not a particularly common thing that you'll see a lot of. The .NET framework does this in a couple of places where it doesn't want you messing with things like the math class or other things. Basically, if you create a class where you want it to behave a certain way and you don't want authors to be able to override methods in your class, you can create a sealed class. So pretty quick, simple example of how you can create classes in C Sharp that cannot be derived from or subclassed.